So, I am on Harry and Megan's Sussex.com website, and they, a couple, I guess yesterday, they put up a Thank You Nigeria post, an update in this beautiful, absolutely beautiful photograph of the Duke and Duchess at the polo match in Nigeria. Look at that little clutch. I love that clutch. Oh my God. It's a perfect size for the hour clutches that I have in my mind for Megan to do. But Megan's not listening to me. Megan never listens to me. Megan never listens to me. That's not true. She wore red. So I think she did that for me. So I think she listens. Megan, you and Harry are absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful. And you know that Sussex Squad, we have your back out here, right? Um, I'm not happy about the um, the arch well thing. Now, I know that things happen. I mean, in my own life, like, I mean, please, please, right? But I am not in the public eye. I am not running an important foundation that so many people in the public are looking for it to fail and so many others are fighting to make sure it doesn't like you know we're the soldiers out here right we can only do what we can do right you guys you and harry you need to run a tight ship or a tighter ship right and so i'm gonna be the one to tell you because i'm not here for you to to you know pat you on the back when you when you when you mess up right i'm just not I'm not, I'm not that kind of mommy. Mommy's going to tell you when you messed up and she needs you to do better. You know, she's going to pat you in the back when you do well. And she's going to tell you when you need to tighten up, right? And you need to tighten up because we can't have this. Now, I understand things happen. Again, look at my own life. You know, this is, I'm not, you, I'm preaching. You do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> kind of thing. I'm that kind of mommy. Okay. So with Archwell, Look, you can't have things like this happen where you're getting these kinds of notices because of oversight. It means that you need to hire more people, right? You need people who have specific job functions. And one of those is to keep on top of the administrative issues with R12. This is my position and I'm sticking to it. The fact that this happened means, and if you do have someone and this happened anyway, they need to be fired because it's a PR disaster. It's a mess. It just, it's, it may be a small thing, a hundred dollars to, to renew a foundation or whatever it is. I don't even know, but it doesn't read well, my love. It doesn't read well. Right. And Sussex squad out here, I mean, some of them would be like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, the optics matter, right? Optics matter. And you and Harry, you're basically right now, you're, you're more than a corporation. You're, you're like a conglomerate. You have a lot of things going on, right? So you're going to need someone. I don't know what the position is called. I don't know if it's an executive CEO and what the heck they do. I have no idea. But you need someone whose job title it is to make sure that things like re-registration of Archwell happens smoothly and flawlessly i don't want to hear anything about lost checks and this and i mean please we're not running that kind of operation over here okay we're just not right and so that can happen again now the other thing is i'm wondering whether you guys need to to make have your pr issue some kind of statement you know lost in the mail whatever no i mean i'm thinking you know it's it's an oversight so you know somebody just screwed up right and we fixed it right? And that's it, you know, but then there's the other side of me that says the don't complain, don't explain royal family strategy. I mean, I don't know. It's not that it's a big deal, but it's that it's a big deal. I mean, it's optics are a big deal, right? Optics are a big deal, right? Of course, it's only a few dollars and you renew. How many times have I been late with renewing things? Just don't even ask the question. But again, I'm not in the public eye, right? I'm not the one they're after, right? Right? Come on, you guys, right? You're beautiful, absolutely stunning. So here they are. I'm done with my, 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 you know, whatever you call it, my preaching, my lecture. 
you know, because I'm not happy about this. I'm not happy about it. Right? We need to do better. We need to run a tighter ship. Right? Um, listen. Harry and Meghan, so they concluded their unforgettable trip to Nigeria with a cultural reception in Lagos, according to their website, and a polo match fundraiser for Nigeria, Unconquered. That's good. I like that word, Unconquered, right? That's good, right? And it says here, the couple was greeted with a beautiful pregame parade, a vibrant display of young enthusiasts in polo gear, proudly waving the green and white flags of Nigeria. Very, very nice. And apparently, if I if I'm not mistaken, before that, Megan met with uh, some Nigerian kings, like two kings or something like that, and they bestowed the title of Princess Megan, right? Princess Megan, onto the Duchess of Sussex. So she's now officially a Nigerian princess. And, you know, we we look at this and we're like, oh, okay, that's nice, whatever. But you know, I believe in past life. You know, I believe that we, we've done this before in different lives, different forms, and we'll keep doing this. And I, I think Megan, there's, there's something weird about her. There's something weird about her. Um, you know, she probably was a, a Nigerian queen or princess at some point in her past, and she just went back to her roots, you know? Um, anyway... That's all for this one. I just wanted to, you know, highlight the thank you to Nigeria. What a beautiful trip. What a beautiful couple. And I want them to tighten up their ship over there. You know, they need to hire maybe a few people. I don't know, but come on. Anyway, see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.